Now, the CBS3 Duluth WeatherMax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. Here's a look at our dew points. And when they get into the 50s, it is a bit humid. It's when they get into the 60s that it's awfully uncomfortable for our area. So eyeing up the current dew points, we're in the 50s for many of our towns. Getting into the 60s, though, towards Wisconsin, east central Minnesota, a sign that after a fairly comfortable summer day here today, it will get juicier tomorrow. And uh, potential then, of course, for fuel from all that moisture for potentially strong storms. Yeah, tomorrow 60 to 70 percent chance coming our way. And we'll talk about that in more detail, of course, after we get a look at the current conditions at the airport in Duluth. And right now up there, it's 85 degrees. Relative humidity, though, has fallen to 36 percent, so it's tolerable. Northwest winds running six miles per hour and our air pressure is holding steady at 1,013 millibars or 29.91 inches of mercury. Temperatures today, well yesterday they were all over the board as cloud cover dropped temperatures and rainfall did as well. Today since it's fairly clear and fairly sunny they're a little bit more uniform and we have 82 to 84 in the Upper Peninsula, 82 to 86 here in northwestern Wisconsin including 85 towards Superior and Ashland. 88 degrees right now for Moose Lake towards east central Minnesota. North Shore numbers run in the low 80s for a good portion of that neck of the woods, though up in Cook County you can get a, uh, a temperature in the 60s. That must be awfully nice here, at least by the lake. It gets warmer just a bit up the Gunflint. And then Iron Range temperatures are the low 80s or must have some cloud cover. They're only 75, but back to 82 by the time you get to International Falls and Fort Francis. Tomorrow's going to be a warmer, warmer one than today. 85 to 90 plus and then again that'll be great fuel for the thunderstorm chance that's going to be coming across right now we've got high pressure in our area so it's a relatively clear sky in minnesota and wisconsin and the upper peninsula there have been a couple of heat driven showers in pine county minnesota a little bit of convection from the heat to the day but they're not going to be that vigorous Tomorrow, that's the chance for a little vigor in our atmosphere. As a new low pressure system from the west comes in to feed on the heat and humidity in our region, and that's why I think we'll have clouds increase in the morning. And by afternoon, we get that 60 to 70% chance for the storm chance. Well, uh, that could just about last into early Thursday morning before things change up. Thursday afternoon into Friday with higher pressure taking over, making it dry again, and again dropping the dew points a bit. So it may be hot and humid tomorrow and uncomfortable, but it will get better as time goes on. And here's the forecast for the week ahead. In Minnesota tonight, we're getting a partly cloudy sky with low temps running from about 57 to 65 into Wisconsin and Michigan with a clear to partly cloudy sky. The low temps will be I'll low to mid 60s, light and variable wind there, maybe just a little bit gustier from the south in Minnesota. For tomorrow, clouds will increase in Wisconsin and Michigan and into the afternoon, 70% storm chance. Again, some strong to severe storms could be embedded in the general chance, so watch out. 87 to 92 for the high temps there tomorrow. And in Minnesota, cooler by the lake will be low to mid 70s. Inland temperatures run 87 to 91. 60% chance for the showers and storms, and again, some could become severe for a few hours. Do keep an eye to the sky and watch out. Into Thursday, it fades away to a 30% chance for morning precip. Then in the afternoon, sunshine comes around and just might stick around through Monday, Tony, and temperatures and dew points will fall at least a little bit for the weekend, so it should be more comfortable, yet still summery, to get out and enjoy. One slight bone to throw into the works here or a monkey wrench into the business, uh, Saturday, Sunday afternoon, the heat of the day might drive some of those uh, convective showers like we're seeing in Pine County, but it's only a 20% chance. All right, thanks, Dave.